Okay, this is a demo of the blockchain and IPFS. I did another IPFS video before. I'm on a laptop on this, it's pretty noisy, but um, I'm going to go through the basics of it. So we start with the code, it's all in React.js, and let's see. Well, firstly, I'll show you. I'll show what actually happens. So, if we refresh this, so it's reading really the blockchain and it's reading really the IPFS, and it's brought back this data. And if I put in a new test here, test cover locally, so. And then I add this content. Um, it's successfully stored. When I go onto the blockchain, I'm going to see a pending transaction there, which is that transaction. That's waiting to be mined and so what, what it's done now is actually stored the IPFS transaction which is this down here and if we, we can confirm that by going into the window and we can say um, IPFS cat and this text down here to test Trevor Oakley which is what I typed in the window here and then if I go back into my window, that's now been mined, so you can see there's no pending transaction. If we refresh this again, so this last transaction test Trevor Oakley, and then this is the same address. So we copy that and go back into my uh, over here. You can see that is the same transaction. Test Trevor Oakley. So um, just to go through how that's working. That we've got um, blockchain stuff. I've already explained. We've got a contract being set up, and the part that calls quite a lot of headache was the asynchronous communication and this really works through um, finally got this working through a program called Axios here um, and that handled all the JavaScript promises which were giving a lot of problems and that's the code here um, it's only actually a few lines of code and um, in fact you don't need these three lines here so it is in fact only um, these three lines of code to read the data and then to add the data, add the data is there and again that was also um, just a few lines of code uh, a couple of points about state state is asynchronous also and what a mistake um, I was making is basically I thought that if you just added something, if you just change state, if you use set state, then it automatically got updated straight away. That doesn't actually happen. It goes through some React lifecycle, and it can take some uh, t time for that to update. So you can't actually rely on that value. You actually have to use local storage in some kind of variable, and also. Um, Um, I think that's about it. I think they're, they're the main things really. And binding it as well. So I did a bind at the top there. Here. Um, the code is all on GitHub. So if you go over to GitHub, it should all be on here. That's under this reference. I'm going to load up the last changes. So just um, so this system now 
allow someone to add comments so they can, we can add any old comments in here and then we can add the content and that's brought back this and that's added it into IPFS straight away but it hasn't actually done the um, the mining bit yet so up here so so that transaction we just did we can see that's in here And it's just that load of garbage but as soon as that's mined then we can um, I was actually looking at web 3 there is um, a way you can actually get this to automatically update back which I'll look at next but um, And for those that are interested, there's also Web3. Oh, I forgot to mention about on the IPFS daemon. Um, I also had loads of problems with access, so I had to change it to 000. That's not recommended by IPFS, but it's the only way it could run, otherwise I could get an access error. Okay, it's probably done the mining by now, so let's go back to that. Hasn't done it. Mm. So it's now done it. So let's try that again. Oh, there it is. Actually, right in the middle. It doesn't come back in secret. So it's now put that on there. So the summary then is from this. We can actually. So we can close that. And so in this system, then we can add com we can add comments, and they're stored on the blockchain. They're referenced through this hash address here. And then um, this is then access accessible to everyone.